So once again, Lebanon's president, Amin Jamal, has found himself chairing talks on the reconciliation of his country in the shadow of violence. Last night, delegates here had instructed him to fly to Washington to find means of persuading Israel to leave southern Lebanon. This morning, those same Israeli occupying forces had been subject to a shattering bomb attack, perhaps organized by followers of delegates in this very room. Peace suddenly seemed further away than ever. Over the elegant lunch tables of the conference hotel this afternoon, the talk is of little else. And there is one point of unity. The Israelis have only themselves to blame. It proves that uh, uh, it needs the Lebanese government to do the security in the south. The second, I think the Israelis have not to go into the internal politics of the south as they have been playing with it. And they have, uh, uh, if they want security, they have to abide to force law and order on everybody in the south. You cannot play factions in Lebanon and, and, don't, and not burning your hands. So as long as they remain in southern Lebanon, they will always run the risk of this sort of attack, will they? Absolutely. Who do you think could have been responsible? The same people who are responsible for the bombing of the U.S. Embassy, the same people responsible for bombing of the Marines and the French troops. And who are those? I wish I knew. Syrians? Yeah, look. Uh, let's face it, nothing moves from the Bekaa down. Uh, nothing moves in these parts without the approval of the basic power which is responsible for the security. I'll leave this to your imagination. Pro-Syrian delegates say the bombing changes nothing. Israel must leave Lebanon before there can be reconciliation. Is this something that you have to resolve before you can carry on? I cannot imagine a Lebanon or a new Lebanon without the South. Can you imagine a man without a head? I can't imagine. Thank you. After a week of talking, delegates are leaving Geneva for home today with the future of their country as uncertain as ever. Norman Rees, News at One, in Geneva.